para, 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 para. Got me feeling like para, 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 yeah. para, para, para. What do you mean? Jillian. So today I'm going to be doing a fall video for you guys. Um, I wanted to do it at the end of October because, I don't know, I just felt like since one of the things in this video is sort of Halloween-y, I thought it would be better to put near the end of October when Halloween is coming soon. I'm super excited that it is fall right now because I do love fall. Um, it's a little bit sad because I do live in Canada, so it is very cold now. Um, we've had really weird weather recently. Some days it's hot and then some days it's cold. It's just like crazy. So yeah. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys some fall stuff. Um, basically just like tips and DIYs and decorations. All that stuff for fall. I'm really sorry that I haven't uploaded in I don't know how long it's been. Two weeks? I don't know. It's been a while. I'm really sorry about that. But here is this video. So first for your ingredients, you're going to need some pretzels, preferably the square ones, some chocolate wafers in white, some caramels, and these can be caramel bits as well, and some candy corns. And then in order to melt your wafers and your caramel, you're going to want to start a double boiler. So if you don't have a double boiler already, you're going to have to start boiling a pot of water. And in the meantime, you guys can start preparing for your bark. So you're going to start by taking some wax or parchment paper and putting it on a baking sheet. And then you're going to take your pretzels to do the first layer of your bark and you're just going to line them up touching each other all the way across your baking sheet. And now we're going to be melting our caramels by using our double boiler. So if you don't already have a double boiler, then you're just going to want to take a metal bowl and sit it on the top of your pot, and then just dump your caramels in there to melt them. And then once you've melted your caramel, you're going to want to take a spoon and begin to spoon the caramel over top of your pretzels, and just try and get it everywhere on the pretzels because this is your second layer of the bark. So just try and get as much as you can of the caramel onto the pretzels. And then you're going to take your white chocolate wafers and pour them into your double boiler and melt those as well. And then taking your melted white chocolate wafers, you're going to spoon those over top of the caramel and the pretzels, creating your third layer of your bark. And if you do have some candy corns on hand, then you're going to, as you go, add those on top of the white chocolate. Because if you do it at the end, the white chocolate will already be solidified and you will not be able to press those into it. But anyways, as you did with the caramel, you're going to try and make this as much of an even layer as possible. And then after letting this sit in the fridge for a while, you are done with your bark. So then you can take a knife or just your hands and break the bark up into pieces. And that is it for your salted caramel candy corn bark. It is so cute for the fall and so delicious. It is just a must have and I really enjoyed making it and especially enjoyed eating it afterwards. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make this really cute fall decoration little tray for your bedroom and this is a really easy way to spice up your room for fall. So first you're just going to take any type of tray that you want to use and then you can take a candle, some pumpkins, and some leaves and line them all up on your tray and you can take any type of candle. I just used a Bath & Body Works vanilla bean candle because it smells amazing. Then I took some little pumpkins and one is bigger than the other. And then I just took some leaves off my front lawn and let them dry up and then put them on my tray. And then if you guys really want to spice up your tray during Halloween time, you can take some sort of little Halloween decoration. I just have this little ghost guy in a little tin that says boo and you can just put that on your tray as well. 
And that is it for your cute little room decoration fall tray. This is super cute for your room during the fall time and it is super Instagrammable. And for this next little room decoration DIY, I'm sure most of you guys have already done this or already know about doing it, but basically you just take some Christmas lights and drape them around somewhere in your room. Putting them along the edges of your curtains looks super cute and tumbler and I just love doing it especially during the fall time I leave these up all year round around my curtains just because I think it's super cute but if you haven't already you should really look into getting some and doing this in your bedroom because they make your room so cute and cozy Now this next thing isn't a DIY or a decoration or anything like that. It's just something I really wanted to show you guys because it makes your room super nice and cozy. If you don't already have a fireplace in your room, which I'm sure most people don't, if you just go on YouTube and search up fireplace HD, then you can find a video that plays a fireplace. And this one was an 8 hour version, but basically it's just a super cute fireplace and it makes all these crackling noises. And it is so nice if you want to just sit in your room and read a book and have the fireplace playing as well. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Also, if you try any of these, you should Instagram or Twitter. Twitter me? Twitter. Or tweet me. <laughs> um, pictures of what you've done. Also, my old singing channel, I don't know if I've said this to you guys yet, I'm not really sure, but I've changed it into a vlog channel. So if you guys would like to go subscribe to that, I will have vlogs up on there sometime soon. And yeah, so go subscribe to that. Also, like this video and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!